with with this in mind, let's. Does anybody know what this is called? Uh, it's going to move. It's a gyroscope. Yeah. And it's going to start moving. I don't want to skip past it. Yeah, nice. Um, so, so Jim Self calls the torus a gyroscopic stabilizer. And, and I, I really I like that phrase. And so basically, the purpose of a gyroscope is to help ships, whether airplanes, spaceships, or uh, seafaring vessels, to keep their orientation in space so that you know where the horizon is in foggy conditions. Or you, know, you may be pitched back on a wave, but you still know that straight is that way. And, and it's super important in like, outer space, especially. Um, it, your iPhone has a little gyroscope in it. So it knows like when I turn it this way, it does a different thing. And, and so it's, it's got an orientation. If I turn this way, it knows that I'm going this way. And, right? So it, it helps to, the gyroscope is a crucial tool to help us orient ourselves in space time, which is what we're doing. The whole, like what I said at the beginning, the whole practice here is to orient ourselves in space time and stabilize ourselves. So, and we can see that the, the stable, rigid structure at the center is a vertical plane with a ring around the center. Right? It's basically what we were just looking at in that last slide, where we've got this, this vertical plane, this vertical energetic, and, and then things sort of like flying out around, around the, the horizontal plane. Um, the first known gyroscope was invented by a guy named John Sertian in 1743 for nautical purposes. He called it the whirling speculum. Really only tell you that fact so that I have an excuse to say whirling speculum. <laughs> I don't play an instrument, but I want to start a band called Whir the whirling speculum. It's really so good. Uh, <laughs> Since then, more advanced technology has led to the gyro compass, which is what we have in aircraft. Um, this leads us to the our first sort of mention of, of dimensionality. So in three dimensions, there are six ways that we can move, right? And, and I remember I was lucky enough, I got to go to space camp as a kid, and, and we learned about, about these six ways. So we've got uh, up and down, which is, which is called heaving. We've got uh, left and right, which is, which is swaying. We've got forward and back, which is surging, surge forward. Um, we've got angling up and down, which is pitching, or on a, on a pitch, going this way, this way. We've got turning left and right, which is yawing, yaw left, yaw right. And then we've got tilting side to side, which is rolling. These are, these are the only six options that we have for the ways that we can move in three dimensions. Again, we've, we've got the, our, our three dimensions, right? We have a, let's call this a Z axis, we've got an X axis, and we've got a Y axis, right? We've got, a, these, are, these, these are the only options that we have in space time as we know it. That, that's, that's what we got. And, and so, again, this, this tool helps us stabilize and orient ourselves so that if we're getting rolled this way, at least we know it, right? And if we have our gyroscope oriented, then you know sometimes it's fun to like you know Ayurveda we treat with opposite qualities. So if we're getting rolled this way, we want to roll back this way. But sometimes you fight fire with fire, right? And so if we're getting rolled this way, hey, just go all the way around and pop out the other side, right? This, these are all of our, our options. And and so this is the value again of becoming familiar with your bubble and working with your gyroscopic stabilizer uh, so that you're you can you can be a, a stable whirling speculum.